Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about IP Logger. So you can use this tool for like social engineering, other kind of uh, analytics. You can track your traffic on your website. There's so many cool things you can do, and we'll go through some today. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you guys are returning, let's have some fun. All right, guys, so as you can see here, right? So I, IP log, let me, let me make this a little larger so you guys can see, <clears throat> excuse me. So IP logger is like the best IP logger and IP tools. I don't know how accurate that is, but I, I have used this tool for social engineering, for IP tracking, for analytics. There's so many different cool things you can do. You can poke around. But in this video, I just wanna show you guys how you can use the GPS location and track. You know, say for example, you send a link to someone and we're gonna make an example, like we're gonna prank a friend, right? Hockey season is coming up. So we'll get like a picture of the New York Rangers and we'll send this off to quote unquote, like our friend. You can get it any which way you want. You can send this off in an email, a text message, so many different ways. You guys figure that out. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. However, you wanna get this link over to your friends or you know, to whomever, that's on you. So let's go ahead and go out to Google and we'll put New York Rangers. New York Rangers. Let's just go to New York Rangers. For example, we wanna go look at uh, their official website and say for an example, you can use any website, right? Let's look at the, the team. The great New York Rangers, right? Let's see how, uh, hopefully they do good this year. But, all right, let's go to team. Is it ready on team? Hello? Uh, this is not really the team. I'll go ahead and accept that. I haven't been on their site in a second, so, uh, let's see. Let's see if I click on it again. All right, uh, I don't know what's going on here. But let's. Uh, Whatever, it doesn't really matter. It shouldn't be this website, right? NHL.com slash Rangers, right? We can copy this, right? And we can go back here and we wanna go ahead and track this site, right? Because the New York Rangers is what I wanna send off to my friends. And you can go to uh, New York Rangers, create a, short, uh, create a short link. So when we create a short link, it's gonna look something like this, right? And this is gonna be our link that we can utilize is iplogger.com slash, in my case, C2AX46. We can change this domain to anything you want. Obviously you can upgrade to those. We can use different, uh, different uh, domains here. I wanna keep it on iplogger, that's fine for me. And I wanna put like NYR, like New York Rangers here. And the extension I wanna put as like, I don't know, HTML. Because it looks like it's an HTML site. Just want to make it look like a site. You can also add your own domain here. So let's go ahead and save that. All right. And if you want to track everything, you can go ahead and use this code for your tracking. Right. So you can click on here, look at your analytics, but we're already on that link here. And then we can come down and we can, you know, notifications, we can email. I'm not going to enable that. I am going to enable uh, smart data. Let's go ahead and enable that. And if you don't know what that is, you can hover over it and you can read about it, right? I want to go ahead and the, uh, the next one here, consent the, the collection, that's fine. Like GPS data, because that's really what we want to get. Like we want to see where the location is, what the IP address is and you know, latitude, longitude and all that good stuff. So for an example, if we're doing any kind of like social engineering, or something like that, when we send this link off, we can see the geolocation of that link, right? So if you come down a little bit here, you can see visitors and we can see analytics. There's two different views. We'll look at them in a bit once we go ahead and go to the link, right? So I am on a Cali box here. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. I wanna go ahead and copy this link. And I wanna go ahead and minimize this and come back to my local machine. This is a VM and I have a VPN. Obviously I'm not gonna disclose my, <laughs> my location. So let's go ahead and click on 
this. We can go, I agree, that's fine. We can allow it. Normally, obviously this looks quote unquote suspicious, but normally a lot of people already have this enabled location. Obviously this was the first time and this is a browser that I don't really use too much and it's on a different machine. So now we can say, hey guys, like look at the new roster at the New York Rangers, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh yeah, the Rangers, the best team ever. Let's see how good they do this year. But anyhow, we can come down here. Oh, there's nothing showing up, but we can go ahead and refresh this. And now we can see, holy moly, you know, we have the time, which is, it is, it is 555. And it, let me make this a little larger so you guys can see. Okay. So we can see here the IP address, the ISP, the country. We are in the US. Windows 10, Chrome. I, it wasn't Chrome, it was the Brave browser. The refreshing uh, pages. And then we can look at the smart data. So the smart data gives you a lot of information, like for example, the screen size. So they say like whenever you go into like, for example, the Tor browser or anything like that, you go ahead and shrink down your uh, browser so it doesn't give like the, the, the screen size to let you know what's, uh, what screen you're using. But in this case, it's all, you know, for, for testing purposes and, and showcasing it, right? So the RAM, dark mode, yes. And it gives you a whole bunch of stuff. And what's cool, what's interesting, down here, we're going to get the lat uh, latitude and longitude. So you can take this, you can throw this into a browser, and you can check exactly where you're at, the GPS. So Virginia. And if we come out of here, let's go ahead and zoom out of here a little bit, a little bit more. Let's a uh, little bit more. So you can see here, this IP address is going to Virginia. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much that, right? You could go into tools, you can go ahead and you know, sign up. I logged in with my own account. And you can go ahead and check out how IP logger works. The best, I, like it says here, the best IP logger and IP tools. And yeah, hopefully it's just informative for you guys. And if you have any questions, it's super easy to use. I just thought I'd make a video on it because I had some people ask how you can find like, you, you know, if you're trying to help your friend, for an example, right? You can. Like this is actually what I did with a friend of mine. He asked me that he needed help with his computer and he didn't know how to find his IP address and so on and so forth. So I used this and I sent it to him. I said, just click on the link. And we didn't do the New York Rangers. We did his, his Facebook account. And when he clicked on it, then I was able to get his IP address. And uh, yes, he couldn't go to IP, you know, if config.io or what is my IP. He just didn't understand how to do that, which is he's not very tech savvy. But yeah, so that concludes this video. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave a comment in the description below and reach out to me on any social media. It's pretty straightforward. So yeah, test it on your own, you know, test it on your own, play around with it and learn, you know, keep learning. All right, guys, thank you so much for viewing. And until next time, have a beautiful day.